Hey, MP, you feeling good? Yeah, I am. I'm good, you man. Sure? You sure? The lesser MP, you... come on in. Take a seat. Thank you. Thank you for seeing me. Hi. How you doing? Good, good. So your agents are telling me that you're having some issues with Coach. Uh, it's just the one. You're going to have to be a little more specific. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, You've seen the reports. Mm -hmm. It's about you and him debating on whether or not y'all was going to draft me. Talking about the Perkins thing? That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's no truth to it. That's not what I'm hearing, though. And look, it's not like I'm even in the starting lineup, so... <laughs> What am I supposed to think? You think you need to be in the starting lineup, is that it? Coach is not giving me a fair shake, okay? His perception of me because I have a YouTube channel is, is crazy. I'm putting in all this hard work and it's getting overlooked because I know how to market myself? Come mm. on. I am not in the habit of telling my coaches what to do, especially when it comes to lineup decisions. And I hear that, I respect that, but I wouldn't ask you to intervene if I wasn't concerned. Could you just talk to him? It's early. He's not changing his mind. It's early. All right, you know what? I will talk to Coach. Thank you. But first, we got to get a couple things straight. First things first, this is going to rub Coach the wrong way, and that is putting it lightly. Look, if I felt like I was speaking out of turn, I'd be worried. Coach is wrong on this one. If he decides to put you in the starting lineup and it is his decision, MP, yeah. then you need to perform. You raise a stink like this and you go out there and you lay an egg, consequences will follow. Look, that's fair. I can accept that. All right, I need you to squash this with the press. Absolutely, man. Look, I was planning on doing that anyway. Not one negative comment. No hemming and hawing. No no comments. You understand? 100%. I got you. All right, I'll talk to Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lesser. I appreciate it. Don't make me regret it. No regrets, sir. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Great game. Bring it in, fellas. We got a lot of work to do. We really need to push the tempo and get out in transition mode. Coaches! Set up the drill. Let's get it, fellas. You got it. You got it. Yeah, let's go, let's do it! Come on, let's go! 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 Come on, let's
Every year, Grant, the officials seem to emphasize a different rule. You think it takes long for players to adjust? You know, B.A., it depends on the rule and how... Here's... Here's Love. Outside for Sexton. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Back to love. And so he draws the foul. Right. 
his first personal foul. Third team foul. Just knows how to pick up fouls. And Love drops them both. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Here's Thomas. Checked by Sexton. Pass to Washington. And stolen by Marketing. Outside Love. Gets the three to fall. Love's got five points. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. One thing I've also noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off turnovers. Here's A-Train. And it's Martin with the rebound. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Six to shoot. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. Cleveland has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Here's a train. And he was fouled while in the end. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, they didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. You got to play without foul. And they've already made a lot of trips to the line. Yeah, doing an outstanding job of attacking offensively and forcing the issue. Thomas, that's good. Thomas. And Thomas's shooting form is well refined and pretty efficient. He's excellent at shooting the three ball when he's in rhythm. Here's A-Train. Ooh, good finish at the rack off a slick feed. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punch blazing. Outside Sexton. To the paint. Here's A-Train. And he lays it up and in. Five points in the game. So far, they're owning both in this quarter. With the score, you're a Cavalier. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for your powerhouse. They are. Checking in for the away team. Tushin here for Charlotte. Plumlee's checked in for Washington. Harrell comes in for Bridges. Oubre, he's checked in for Hayward. And it's Thomas in for Rozier. Garland and Sexton are in the backcourt. Mobley out there with Kevin Love. And it's A-Train in at the three spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. To the wing on the left. Pass to Thomas. Harrell, a screen on Sexton. Here's Thomas. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. And great instincts, too, guys, anticipating where the miss was going. Here's a trade. You got a piece of it. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And here's Oubre from the arc. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his sixth assist of the night. And you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant, the court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees over defenders. He enjoys making those flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname at Alabama was the Young Bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion through adversity. No matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Allie, right? Thanks for that. Love with the ball. Oubre picks him up. And a train gets it to go. You know, Love is, as we've seen, a solid passer for a big man. Great at breaking down the defense and firing the pass to an open teammate. Harrell, a screen on Sexton. Thomas, three-pointer, no good. Cleveland has gotten five in their nine attempts from deep to go. And now the Cavaliers on the break. Pass to Sexton. Let's go with a three. It's another three for Cleveland. 
and just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Oubre passes to Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. On the court for the Hornets, Mason Plumley out there with TJ Washington. The then there's Kelly Oubre, and it's Martin in at the two. Washington, a screen on Sexton. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Pass to A-Train. Oh, got a piece of it. It's stolen by Washington. Here's Martin. He's checked by Levert. Washington outside. Plumley a screen. Here's Thomas. He's off on that one. And it's Cleveland the other way. They host the Hawks after this one. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Here's A-Train. He's checked by Plumley. A-Train, no good. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Just opportunity. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Driving inside. And the shot goes in. Thomas. Thomas has got five points. And Thomas has really deceptive speed, change of pace speed. Cuts into the lane with purpose and usually puts his defender off balance. Right side Oubre. And the lamp is good Oubre. off the glass. Seven points in the game. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. To the inside. Here's A-Train, uses the glass on the layup, and the Cavaliers lead by 15. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. All right, look who's coming on. Washington comes in for Bridges, and it's Hayward in for Rozier. And that one misses. Don't do anything silly, just ride out the clock. Yes, if they take their time and execute, the game is all theirs. Harris. We've got Lori Markkinen, Rajon Rondo out there with Karis LeVert. Then there's Kevin Love, and it's A-Train in at the small forward position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Ball passes to Hayward. Washington, a screen on LeVert. Out to Oubre. The three. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Bounds. Charlotte ball. Coming onto the floor for the away team. Cody Martin. Isaiah Thomas. 19 seconds left to play in the fourth. Now here's Rondo. Here's a train. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video to right now. So Outside. Rondo. Give a thumbs up button here's if you A-Train. like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment. Drop below the description. So 
so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So, I make a happy Corona 95. So, have a great day and peace out.